seemed really sweet. Oh, speaking of sweet, you've got to try this rock candy I made. They're not my friends. They're... They're just like everybody else. Everyone back home was right about me, weren't they? It just messes everything up. My music and me. We don't belong anywhere. Bashley! Bashley! Um, maybe you should stop playing for a second? No, don't! I'll just mess things up for you too. No, you won't! Yes, I will! I always do! Lumina, just get as far away from me as you can! No way! What's gotten into you? I can finally play my music as much as I want. I'm done running. You hear that, Cave? Let's rock! Come on, Snare. Our friend's in there, and she's in trouble. We've got to find help. And I think I happen to know the perfect friends to call. Bashley? Oh, Bashley. Where could she have gone? What is it, Trina? Oh, perfect! I was looking for you. But weren't there more of you before? We split off into groups to cover more ground. Wait, you were looking for us? Who are you? Oh, gosh, I'm always forgetting my manners lately. Although, this is a crisis situation, so frankly, it's understandable. Not to mention the fact that I have not had this many visitors in quite some time, so I am a bit out of practice. Was any part of that her name? I'm not really sure. I didn't catch most of that. I'm Lumina. This is Vivian. I'm one of Bashley's friends. You are also Bashley's friends. <gasps> Isn't that Snare? I'm keeping an eye on her at the moment. Snare's Bashley's pet. Lumina, you've seen Bashley? Mm-hmm. Where is she? Whoa! Would you be shocked to learn she's that way? Should have seen that coming. Come on, Trina. Ashley's in trouble. Ashley's in there. Something's very wrong. It's got to be the big red crystal. It's been acting all weird since Ashley came back. It's feeding off her somehow, feeding off the bad feelings she's having. Bad feelings? Oh, no. Ashley must think she messed something up back in Neander Falls. We've got to talk to Ashley. If you want to talk to her, we've got to destroy that crystal. It's the only way to get Ashley back. Destroy it? But how? I don't know. It's on top of the ceiling. We would need something really big and strong to break it. <laughs> Not now, Trina. Can't you see we're trying to find something big and strong that can destroy the crystal? Our friend Bashley is in danger. <laughs> Trina, whoa, what has gotten into you? If you keep running around like this, you might break something. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, everyone. Get close to Bashley and make sure she's safe. It's time for Operation Smash the Big Scary Red Glowing Crystal Thingy! Yeah! But can we take another shot at the name first? No time. Ah! Tyra Tail Duck! You gotta stop playing! You're in danger! We're here to help you! I know what I have to do! Off, groupies. You're messing up my sound. Everyone, go now! Okay, big scary red crystal thingy. It's my turn. Let's rock! Whoa. What happened? I, I, I feel... Better? Much better. You all came back just to save me? Of course we did, silly. That's what friends do when they're being manipulated by big, glowing, scary red crystals of mysterious origin. But my music, it messed everything up for everyone. No, it didn't. Your music made things awesome. Your music turned my bumbleberries into this new thing. It's delicious. Everyone thinks so. 
And that blast of rockin' sound turned my new sculpture into a classic. And that stunt you pulled made us have to create a whole new point system for Tree Ball! The Tree Ball Bash! You see, Bashley? We all love you and your music. It's what makes you Bashley. Don't ever forget that again, okay? I don't know what to say. No time for talking, only group hugging. Bashley, your days of being a runaway rocker are over. You belong here with all of us, and that's just how it is. A runaway rocker, huh? I like the sound of that. Well, this runaway rocker has a brand new song to sing. Okay, here goes nothing. I grew up in the peaks, and it was so serene. I wanted to rock, but I threw up the whole scene. The music was too loud, the power of my song. And soon my home was a place I couldn't belong.